You change lives, you save lives, you open eyes, you are amazing. Oh, absolutely. Huh? That's your joke, babies. Can't do anything. Really, 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 I do things. So this is really everything. So, natural nanoe, that's this one. We have great pride in who Brittany is as an individual and what she's accomplished in her life. Her ribbons and trophies. Brittany went to three proms. <laughs> There's just so many different milestones that just say, wow, we did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Brittany was born March 19th, 1989. Rocco was completely thrilled. He had his daughter. He was bouncing around taking pictures in the delivery room. And I took one look at her and I was just a little concerned. Uh, we found out at birth that Brittany was diagnosed with Down syndrome. It was startling for us in the beginning. We didn't know what to do, especially myself. Uh, you know, it was my first girl. I think when parents get a birth diagnosis, you are uncomfortable, you don't know what's coming next, you don't know if parenting this baby is gonna be any different than parenting your typical baby. You're fixated on one path. You think you're going down that road and then you're given a hard left turn. We regrouped quickly when Brittany was born. We made very sure to tell family and friends that we were going to raise this baby the same way we raised her older brother. You realize that the baby is just a baby and Brittany was adorable. <laughs> Brittany was a little blonde with bright blue eyes and she was always smiling and people would stop, not because she had Down syndrome, but because she was so cute. This is best friends forever. Obviously, Brittany has Down syndrome. It's a very small part of who she is. She's the reason why I've gone into the helping field as a school psychologist. She's the reason I have so much energy and such an open outlook. Brittany is extremely determined. She's been that way from an infant. And we've never held her back. Everyone gets one of those. Brittany is so amazing. In 2014, she founded Brittany's Baskets of Hope, which is a nonprofit that is dedicated to bringing love and support into the lives of families who are expecting or recently welcomed a baby with Down syndrome. Brittany and her team create these custom care packages that feature information, inspiration, and special gifts for the newborn and families. Well, technically, it's my idea. And I come home and tell my parents, I want to do this because it's part of my life, part of the kid's life, a part of hope. Brittany's delivered over 1,200 baskets in 50 states. If we have a local baby, we deliver the basket to the family on Long Island. If it's out of state, then those baskets become packing boxes and we try to put in as many accessories as we can for the babies. We have knitters and crocheters from all over the country who donate handmade blankets, booties, hats that we put in the basket. We are completely amazed at how far reaching Brittany's Baskets of Hope has come. People from all over the globe comment and send us photos of their babies and get involved. It's such a blessing to see how many people feel this, connect to this, and want to share in this joy. Now once a batch of orders comes in, Brittany gathers up her staff and they have a packing party. What they're doing is fantastic. The space in which they're doing it in, not so much. That's where we come in. The basement is a mess. It's dusty, it's humid, it's dank, it's dark. It's chaotic and messy and disorganized. It's like a little moldy and we smell it and we don't like it. And it does not reflect the joy and happiness that goes on down there when the girls are doing a packing party. As Brittany's brother, it warms my heart to see my sister impacting the lives of so many families. This is just the type of a request that somebody does. We have been holding off on sharing him with anyone else outside the family until we find the right words and the right way to do it. That's why we need to get it to them quickly so that they have the resources that might help them go out of their home. Don't be afraid of the baby. I was like that in the beginning. And um, it was hard. And you overcome it. My heart is into it. My, my whole soul is into it. Come and help, Georgia Rescue. Hey, 
guys. What's up, Brittany? How are you? I'm good. My name is George, and I think uh, together we can make Brittany's Baskets of Hope the biggest and best thing the world has ever seen. Yeah. All right. You mind if I give you a hug? No, no. Oh, this is it. Be careful. I might not let go for a while. All righty. <laughs> we were thunderstruck at just who showed up at the door but George himself. No, no, no. Oh, hi. No, I do this for dogs, too. George the Rescue is here, and I'm so glad he came. I got to tell you, Brittany, you've spanned the country. You know who you are, yeah. what Brittany's Baskets of Hope are all about. You guys gave me a dog. I'm going to give you guys a baby. <laughs> That's fabulous. Right. That's fabulous. Oh, Much awesome. Awesome. Oh, my Let's goodness. Go. Let's go see what we're dealing with. Okay. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. Josh. I'm with you. Josh, long time good to see you. See you. Yes, thanks. Oh man, I am excited to get this Brittany Rescue rolling and leading the charge. We have two George the Rescue alumni, Chastity from Reese Design and Josh from Clinger Construction. Welcome to Brittany's. What do you say we go downstairs and check it out? Absolutely. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah. Here we are. So yeah, we got the baskets, we got the blankets. I mean, everything's sealed. I mean, it's not like it's not a dirty basement. It's just not finished. Honestly, I don't know how Brittany's putting these baskets together. She's got a couple of tables set up sporadically throughout the space. So if she's going to grow, we need to facilitate that so she can pump out these baskets. What we're really hoping to do is create some really clean organization where she can look and know exactly where things are, what she needs, where she could find them. We really want it to be efficient for her to be able to assemble these baskets. We're gonna do an all, all wood construction framing from this wall from here to here. We have a lot of framing to do here. Typically basements are pretty simple, but we got three different wall styles. But thanks to our partners over at Florence Lumber who have uh, so graciously donated the materials for us, we're off to a great start. Everything is framed up downstairs. Riverhead Building Supply has got all of our sheetrock. And I got Louie, Louie, and Danny here from One of a Kind Drywall. They're gonna help me get it hung up. Oh, watch yourself, watch your elbow. Right. Oh, I'm glad I ate my Wheaties. I'm down. Woo! Only 42 more. It started to feel different in there. You know, when we first got here, it was a completely unfinished basement. We now have taken a significant portion of that basement and actually made it finished space. Man, there's a lot of activity happening right now. Regal Flooring is installing all the new floors. HB Millwork is tackling the stairs. And we got James Atlas Woodworking putting together this insane accent wall. Wow, the basement has come a long way. Before we go any further with this rescue, I want to take a closer look at what goes into Brittany's life-changing basket deliveries. Let's go drop a basket. What do you yeah, say? Let's do it. Oh, look at all the <laughs> door. Hi. Want to put your hat on? Uh -huh. Want to try your hat? <laughs> Looking to protect your floors from scuffs and scratches? Scotch Custom Fit Felt Pads provide durable and customizable floor protection that fits just right. With strong adhesive and a fit to size design, these innovative die cut ring pads make it simple to adjust your pad size so you can enjoy the beauty of your floors for years to come. Brittany's nonprofit is Brittany's Baskets of Hope. And today, she and her mom are joining me, and we are going to deliver one of these baskets to a young boy named Ryan. Road trip! Oh, yeah. yeah! I think the best way to get pumped up for a big basket delivery is a little music, huh? Yeah. Shall we? Let's do it! Woo! I'm excited because usually when I go and I knock on a door, it's all me. This time, I'm just riding along. Brittany is leading the charge. Just to recap, we're going to see a family. They have three kids, and one of the twin boys have Down syndrome. has Down syndrome. And so we're bringing him a basket. Right. This is exciting. And they found you through social media, through yeah. the Britney's Baskets of hope. hope. I found out I was pregnant with twins in November of 2019. I had a great pregnancy. I felt wonderful pretty much the whole time. After I delivered the boys, a team of doctors came up to us in the recovery room and told us that they suspected Ryan had Down syndrome. We were very surprised. We were very scared. Let's go drop a basket. What do you yeah, say? Let's do it. We got a basket of hope from the one and only Brittany. Yeah, you know, you know. Come on in, please. Oh. Good job. What's in there? Fine. 
Want to put your hat on? Uh-huh. Want to try your hat? <laughs> At first, I was very nervous to reach out and connect with other people with Down syndrome because I didn't want to have any preconceived notions of how Ryan was going to be. And, and I said, well, shying away from it is not doing anything good for Ryan. I have to kind of throw myself in and educate myself. Watching Brittany and Ryan interact is just very adorable. Ryan is such a special kid and he's so happy and, and he loves to meet new people and, and I kind of can sense that Brittany is the same way. Because we always say that we're perfect all the time. What's really cool is when they open the basket, you see everything that's in it. There's artwork, there's books, there's inspirational elements. This is my story in the back. And all about that is infamous. Brittany's Baskets of Hope experience has been amazing. I'm looking forward to being able to read some of those lovely books to the boys. All the handmade items, everything just really so beautiful and it's incredible now that I have somebody that I never really thought I'd have the opportunity to meet has now become somebody that I think I'm going to know for the rest of our lives. This was an amazing experience. There's so much love that goes into these baskets that Brittany delivers. To be on the team for the day was really special. Now I gotta get back to the house so we can get everything dialed in so that Brittany can continue to help so many families. So we got all the guys here from Exquisite Homes. You did all the framing, you, you put everything yes, up in the beginning, but now we are putting in that drop ceiling. Why did we decide to go with a, uh, a drop ceiling versus just a sheetrock ceiling? Primarily, it's the access to all the electric right. and the plumbing for the upstairs of the house. Thanks to Long Island paneling, this grid will be up in no time. Brittany's Baskets of Hope never takes a break. They go year round, so we want to make sure that her space is always comfortable. So Polar Bear Air and Ferguson are tackling the HVAC for Brittany's HQ. Oh, that's yeah, him, yeah. that's him. Cool. That's Todd. Oh, How exciting. We had some really beautiful custom pieces built for Brittany. One was the custom cabinetry built by Worthy's Run Furniture, which is great for her organization and all the product for her baskets. All right, Todd, you did the building. I brought the muscle. Can you just tell us where you want it and we'll bring it down? This is like my little baby. I, this is what I'm responsible for. Yeah, you got the heavy end, George. Oh, I got the heavy end? Thanks. Yep, 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 just rearrange my hands. Ugh. All right. I think it's somebody else's stuff. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> else's stuff. Things are really starting to shine here. We got LeMond on site tackling all of our electric and lighting. Now that construction is all wrapped up, it is time for Chas to bring that design vision to life. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. It's design time so, and I need help like always because it's a lot. Dance, <laughs> dance pull, pull. I love that Chastity built a hangout space because Brittany has so many volunteers and having a place where they can hang out, they can chat, they can laugh, they can relax, it's important and it's, it's gonna make a big difference for them. Our accent wall looks absolutely amazing. Phenomenal. I know she loves to have her digital presence, and when she does her live streaming, I wanted to have something really cool in the background, which is why I did the accent wall in the Down Syndrome colors of the navy blue and yellow. That custom table from James Atlas Woodworking is everything. This yeah. is where they assemble the baskets. Right, so they get their product directly from the custom units that yeah. were made for them. They come, they assemble, they send, everybody's happy. I'm happy. This right? is spectacular. Last but certainly not least is Brittany's desk. Yes, that's my smoothie. Your computer, <clears throat> a bag of bagels. I've been spending a lot of time at Brittany's house and I set up shop on her desk. It was a little bit um, intrusive. Okay. <gasps> what did you do? Oh no. I just knocked over this smoothie. Is it on the rug? Yes. You just. This is why I said no drinks in my office. It's on the computer. Oh no. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. Not good, not good. Not good. Hold on. <gasps> we need napkins. I got napkins. There's more. Give me. Crisis averted. The rug is now clean. Sorry. 
we have another small disaster. Yeah, what is going on? I, I thought this was like so, some sort of modern art. I had a great idea. <laughs> modern art. Brittany's Baskets has helped so many families, so what I wanted to do was give her a customized wall with pictures of all of these babies and families that she's helped and impacted in such a great way. So the adhesive that it came with. It's obviously not a 3M adhesive. That's all right, I can fix that. I'll use some scotch mounting tape. In order to hang the cork on the wall, I'm gonna use scotch mounting tape. It really is the perfect thing to keep them on the wall so that we can display all these pictures. This is clear, it also comes in black. You can use it indoors, you can use it outdoors. It goes up to 30 pounds. Okay. So we'll actually just put one, two, three, four, one in the middle. They really are gonna hold. So with no hardware for these awards, we can actually put them right on some uh, command shelves. This is what I call the 3M triple play. We are using scotch mounting tape for the cork wall. This is gonna be our award wall. Right. We're using the claw to hang the pictures and to display the trophies, we're using the command shelf. <laughs> Home run! Brittany Chavon is a 2017 Woman of Distinction honoree. The 3M claw is the perfect way to hang all of these framed awards and proclamations for Brittany. You don't need any tools, you just figure out where you're gonna put it, you mark it, you push it in with your fingers, and the best thing of all is it can hang up to 45 pounds. Which way are we going? Can we get out that level? Why don't you put it up next to it? Ooh. With the command shelf, it's damage-free hanging. You literally just put up the command strips, put on the shelf, and we can put whatever we want up to five pounds on top of that. Oh, look at that. That was a good job. Right, thanks, we did that together. High five, dude. Good. Okay. This project was really special. It's not just a basement for Brittany. This is helping families literally worldwide. Can you believe that Brittany's Baskets of Hope has sent out 1,450 baskets to families who really need that lift, that inspiration? She's inspired so many. She has told those families, congratulations, instead of, I'm sorry. I cannot wait for Brittany and her family to come downstairs and see what we were able to accomplish. This is gonna be a good one. Yay! Oh, oh my gosh, yay! look at this! Whoa! We're so excited to see George. Brittany asks every day, like, I wonder what they're doing. We've been on pins and needles waiting to see what's been going on down there. Hey, George! <laughs> George is a special guy. The energy that he brings, you can't help but smile and want to grab him. <laughs> oh man, Brittany, I cannot wait for you to see what we have done downstairs. BBOH has an HQ. What do you say? You guys want to come and see it? Don't clap yet. Wait till you see what we did. <laughs> Brittany, you first. I will lead the way. <gasps> okay. What do you think? Oh, oh my god! Yeah, oh. Yay! Oh, oh my god! Yay! Look at this! Yay! Whoa! Yay! Holy <laughs> mackerel! What do you think? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Brittany loved it. Her eyes were just opening up at every little spot that she was looking at. Look at all the storage. Oh my gosh, this is all Brittany, your storage. Look. So this is where you can put oh all, all those blankets, all those pamphlets. Oh my gosh. We were literally working out of bins. So it was just, it was a mess. The organization is going to be amazing. She's She's amazing. Me, I can't believe it. Oh, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the, the design on the, the wall and the, the colors and, and the yellow wall. and blue wall. Oh. Dr. Jim colors. I'm so happy to see that. <gasps> and look at this. Oh my God. You're going candies. You're, we're never going to see you again. That's I. Your desk. <laughs> you got drawers. So this is a ring light. You just put your phone right in here. A uh, social media superstar. You yeah. did that right. <laughs> I told you, you're gonna be the, you're gonna be my partner in crime. I'm gonna be your partner in crime. I'm gonna be the co-host on Britney's podcast, whatever comes yeah. next. Yay! I have to say, one of the most touching parts of the whole basement makeover was the cockboard wall with all the baby yeah. photos on it. Uh, I mean, it, it brought tears to my eyes. 
the designers knocked it out of the park. Between Britney's packing station to the lounge area, it's bright, it's welcoming. It was perfect for Britney and her personality. It really was. We got three different speakers so you can take them wherever you want, in the office, <laughs> while you're packing, so that you can have proper dance parties. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> My favorite collaboration of all time. Yeah, really. huh? As you joke, babies can't do anything. Really, 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 I do things. So this is really everything. No, you change lives, you save lives. And I'm ready to build the basket. What do you say? Let's do it. So where do we start? We start with... Uh... We do the uh, resource book. This is life changing. The goal is to get the baskets out faster. Parents need the information that's there. So instead of waiting a month, we can actually get the request. When a request comes in, down, get it, and you should get it in two days. Mom, it's okay to take George to the cabinet and let him open a, a drawer? Oh, okay. Show George what's in the drawer. Yeah, come on. And... Go ahead. Is, it, is this, this mine? Is, this is your shirt. This is my shirt? You're part of me. I'm part of the team? BBOH. George, we can't thank you enough for doing this for our family, for doing this for Brittany, for helping to get her message out across the country, and for just making such an incredible space for Brittany to do what she does. George, you're like amazing. I am so glad to be your partner. He's in the family, folks! Out here! You're not getting rid of me that easy! Thank you so much for watching that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video.